video will walk through the Koha staff interface. We're looking at the Koha staff interface, which is completely web-based. You can access your Koha staff interface from any internet browser and from any size device. The Koha staff interface is mobile responsive and linked can be used on Google Chrome, Firefox, Microsoft Edge, and Safari. Wherever you have the internet and a device, you can access your Koha staff interface. This is the main page of the staff interface and I'm logged in as a super librarian and I have the ability to see every module that's in the system. Koha is permission based. So depending on the workflows of your staff, you can determine what modules your staff and actions they have access to with their login. This top area here where you see a green bar, that's going to be easy access for checkout, check in, search the patrons and search the catalog. This allows quick access to that, those areas. This black bar is going to bring me to any module within the system, which means if I'm in with I'm in the reports module, I can easily using the more drop down menu head over to another area within the Koha staff interface without going back to the home button. Now I do have the ability to go back to the home button using this Koha logo or this little home button. Way far to the right, we also have access to this help button. This help button is going to open up the Koha staff manual that is updated twice a year and bring me directly to the module I'm in when I started. So I was in the serials module, so it's going to bring me directly to the Koha serials module and walk me through some steps, including screenshots and some workflow. I also have on the left hand side the ability to toggle to different areas within the within the module if needed. Heading back over to the Koha staff interface, it is something to note that you can use multiple tabs when using Koha. So you do have the ability to, as you can see, I'm over in the help manual in one tab, but I can go back to Koha and I can, of course, at any point, open things in new tabs. So I could have multiple tabs going at the same time. This main page of the Koha staff interface is completely customizable. So I have the ability as a librarian and the staff member to create web pages, such as the staff resource page that's been created. I can integrate a calendar to allow my staff to see what's going on at the library. I can add quick link reports, which would allow staff to easily run a report directly from this main page. This entire area is customizable, so you can absolutely do whatever works best for you and your staff as a good way to promote material. At the bottom of the page, below the modules, you're going to see some interaction within the um, Koha and Discovery layer. So I can see any purchase suggestions, any reports, and I also have a quick search at the bottom. Koha will provide the user with the version they are using also at the bottom. Scrolling to the top, at the far top right hand corner, I can see the user that is logged in and what branch they are logged in at. There are a few ways that you can search the catalog within the system. Using the search the catalog, I can go ahead and enter keywords. I can utilize this drop down menu and in indicate what I'm looking for specifically. And I can also determine if I'm looking for a specific search keyword or desired um, topic at a specific library or all libraries. I also have two other types of searches within Koha. I have the advanced search, which would allow me to, again, use the, that drop down menu, use my Boolean operators and curate a search that I'm looking for. I have the ability to indicate by item type, shelving location or collection when I'm running this search. So I'm for, I'm, if I'm looking for some, something specific in the nonfiction, nonfiction collection or by an audio type of large print. Below, I have further ways to refine my search from this advanced search module. 
The other search is an item search. The item search utilizes many of the same features as the advanced search. However, it includes also things like status, lost, withdrawn. It also allows me to create my own custom searches. So a library could create a custom search looking at either an item holding field or a mark field and subfield. In addition, I can look for a range, look at by checkout count, and then I have a couple more options whether I want to show my result on the screen, send it to a CSV or a barcode file using this item search. When I'm within the patron module, I can utilize the left hand side, search for a specific field, search for a specific category within the system, and easily create a new patron using one of the patron categories created in the system. This is all customizable by the library um, itself, so you can determine what exactly those patron categories are. Heading back over to the main page of the Koha staff interface, let's pop into a few of these other modules that are um, something that we'd like to look at. For those academic libraries, you have the ability to create courses and add items from your catalog to those courses, which will be then visible on the OPAC. Within the authority module, you have the ability to search those authorities, whether that's the main heading, all headings, create new authorities, or use the Z39.50 search to create authorities. Within the cataloging module, you have the ability to create a new record within the system using what Koha calls frameworks. When you create a new record or are editing an existing record, there are two types of editors within the system. This is what's known as the basic editor with 10 tabs across the top, utilizing um, the use of your mouse, allowing you to see, show collapsed, add and take away specific fields or subfields if necessary. And then the second way to use the cataloging module is the advanced editor. The advanced editor is more of your keyboard driven, which allows you to have kind of a clean slate when you're creating that cataloging record. There are keyboard shortcuts that allow you to utilize the delimiters or copy and paste, inserting line breaks. You would have alerts. Within the advanced editor, you can change the size of your text as well as the type of font. The advanced editor allows staff to create and run macros. So that would allow you to create specific actions and run those against your existing record as you're creating and editing records. You can import a record directly into the advanced editor. You can save this to the catalog and you also have a Z39.50 search within the advanced editor. Each editor is available in the Koha system and is based on permissions. Within the serials module in Koha, you have the ability to create subscriptions, search those subscriptions, create, manage, create and manage frequencies and numbering patterns and run claims on those serials. Within the acquisition module, there's a couple different avenues in the acquisition module. You have the ability to create budgets and funds. Creating those budgets and funds, you're able to monitor those funds amounts, look at what you've ordered and spent, and what is completely available at this time. You also have the ability to create vendors within the system. Those vendors can be and have contact information, account information, contacts, whether that's your account rep or your sales rep, and any ordering information within the system. You also have what is known as baskets within the library system. As you create baskets, you're going to um, create a basket, attach it to a vendor, and include information such as the titles you are ordering from that specific vendor. When you do 
create a basket and vendor, you can manage those orders, manage those invoices, and connect those Edifact orders and messages within the system. Within the acquisition module, you also have the ability to create quick reports or run quick reports, which allow your users to find hold ratios, orders by funds, or specific other acquisition statistic information. Koha has a very robust reporting module. This allows users to create reports using SQL. You can create direct SQL reports. You can use our guided report option, which would walk you through six steps in creating that report. You also have the ability to create and save those reports. So once you've created and saved those reports, you can easily look at those reports and hit that action and run on demand that information within the system. There is a um, MANA database, which would allow you to search for reports within the Koha community and directly import that SQL directly into the Koha system. This is extremely helpful and super fun to keep with the community and get some really cool rep reports from other community members. I'm gonna use that drop down more menu and go back to the cataloging option because I forgot to talk a little bit more about the cataloging. You can easily import records that you're getting from your vendors, Baker and Taylor, Ingram or Brodart, manage those records. You can export your catalog data, run inventory, create labels, and then under the tools, under the cataloging, you also have some cataloging tools which would allow you to do batch editing. So you can see I have batch item modification, deletion, and then of course, batch record modification and deletion. This allows you to manipulate records within the system with a, a couple quick clicks. Heading over to the administration section, this is where a lot of the configuration is going to exist. Creating branches within the libraries, creating additional item types, those patron categories, creating your circulation and fine rules. Koha is also has about 800 global system preferences, which allow libraries to turn features on or off, utilize specific um, features within the system or turn those to not use. There are other administration options within the cataloging area, the acquisition area, the accounting area, and then additional parameters. Lots of ways to customize the staff um, interface and OPAC through these global system preferences. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.